Today we're going to install Automatic 1111 with the Pinocchio installer and it's super super easy. If you haven't seen that video make sure to check it out in the description below. Now once you start up Pinocchio go ahead and click on discover page. You can either type in Automatic 1111 or you can search for it. Here it is here we're going to click on that and you simply have to click on download and you'll see the various dependency it needs conda git and a whole bunch of other stuff go ahead and click install and then on the screen you're going to see the progress of the installation and really you don't have to do anything else except for sit here and wait now if it looks like it's not doing anything just leave it alone grab a coffee make some tea have a snack just let it do its thing you'll also see on the bottom right here the progress so it says one of six depending on your system it could take a few minutes so just be patient you'll get a couple notices for windows command processor go ahead and press ok simply you can install more dependencies like visual studio installer which is required for a lot of stable diffusion platforms you're going to be using once the installation is complete you'll get a notification simply click on ok then you'll be prompted to save it as something. I'm going to rename it A111. Go ahead and select download. And what's great about Pinocchio, it gives you options to install the default models. So you have Stable Diffusion 1.5. We'll click on that. Now you'll likely not use the raw Stable Diffusion 1.5 model, but it's just good to have it anyway. At the bottom left, you can see also where the installation is. So right now it's four out of seven. So there's a few other things it needs to install. And as of today's date, it's installing the latest 1.7 version of Automatic 1111. Upon completion, you'll get this notification that the installation was successful. Go ahead and click done. And obviously you're going to run SDXL models. So I highly encourage you to click on configure. Now if your GPU is eight gigabytes of VRAM or less, I highly encourage you to put in this command argument dash dash med VRAM. It's going to help with memory efficiency along with Xformers and no half VAE. Once you're done, click on save and then we can hit the arrow to go back and now click on launch. Now it should auto launch your browser, but if it doesn't, don't worry. You'll see a local URL here. You just gotta click that, select your browser of choice. I use Google Chrome. We'll go ahead and click always. And congratulations, you've installed Automatic 1111. Now, if we look at the models, we only have 1.5. We probably should have selected SDXL instead. But for the next step, I'm gonna show you where you can download some models and where you need to put it. So first you want to go into your main Pinocchio folder. In my case, it's in my C drive under users, my name, and you want to look for the main Pinocchio folder. Once you open up that folder, you want to head over to API and then you'll see the folder for automatic 1111 or what you decided to name it. Let's double click on that. Then you'll see the main automatic 1111 folder. Look for your models folder here. If you're new to Stable Diffusion, your models folder is where you're gonna be installing a lot of your models, obviously. There's a folder here for LoRa's, and even some of your upscale models will go in one of these folders. So for now, click on Stable Diffusion. You'll see we have one file here, Stable Diffusion 1.5. There's even a note here that says put Stable Diffusion checkpoints here. So leave this open for now and let's head back to our browser. Let's open up a new tab and go to civitai.com. And at the top, you'll see a section for models. You just have to pick any of these models to download. Now, I'm not going to get into which models to download today. I'll do that on a separate video. But for now, the ones I would download is Juggernaut XL. It's a very popular one. Xavi Chroma, Protovision. These are two very popular ones as well. Night Vision, one of my personal favorites. Real Cartoon XL, I like that one as well. Another one of my personal favorites is Starlight Animated. So I'll show you with Juggernaut XL. The latest one is V7. You'll see previous versions here. So you can download previous versions. They may be slightly different in style. And all you have to do is click on the download options here. And you'll see it says Model Safe Tensor. They're pretty big files, 6.6 gigabytes. Go ahead and click that. 
When it prompts you to download, it'll default to the downloads folder. However, you could select the main models folder, which we looked at previously. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to there. So your address path will look something like this. Once again, under the main automatic 1111 folder models, stable diffusion, we're going to go ahead and click save. Now, while you're here, if you decide to download another model, you basically do the same thing. But now you can see that it's going to default to the proper stable diffusion folder and all we have to do is click on save. So rinse and repeat that process until you download all the models that you want. Now let's do a quick test in automatic 1111. Now if you happen to have automatic 1111 open already, all you have to do is click this button to refresh your models. But if you shut down and restart it, you should see the models here now. We're going to select Juggernaut Excel. And I'm just going to do a very simple prompt of a howling wolf at night with a full moon in the background. Negative prompts, I'm just going to put ugly, deformed, warped, something simple. You don't need a lot for SDXL. We'll leave the sampler to DPM++2 M Keras. Let's go 30 steps, 1024 by 1024. CFG, let's put it at 6. And then let's hit generate. Here's the generated image and yeah, looks pretty good for a simple prompt. Juggernaut XL is definitely one of my favorite models, definitely a crowd favorite. Now I'm not going to go into extensions today, but I do have a video on ControlNet and the image browser. And basically you just have to go into your extensions here, select available, load from, and then you're going to get a whole list of extensions that you can install. Once again, I'll leave those links in the description below or on the end card of the video. But I do want to show you one more folder and that's your outputs folder. If you look in your main automatic 1111 folder, in the outputs folder here, this is where you're going to find all your generations and they are organized by date. So if I open up this folder, you'll see the same image we just generated. But if you install the image browser I show you in this video, you don't have to worry about going to your folder. You'll be able to organize your images with this extension. Now, if you want to install Comfy UI with Pinocchio, you can check out this video. Or if you want to install it manually, you can check out this video. Until the next one, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.